today I am going to go ahead and show you how to make eggplant curry with chicken and um, edos and simmer it down with some nice freshly squeezed coconut milk. So I will be making some eggplant curry today with some chicken. And what I need for this recipe, into my bowl over here, I have three pounds of chicken that I went ahead and I seasoned with my green seasoning, which I do have a video on my channel. You can go ahead and check that out, how to make green seasoning. And I also seasoned my chicken with some garlic powder, onion powder, chicken bouillon, and some chili flakes, and olive oil. I marinated my chicken for about two hours in my refrigerator. I took it out 20 minutes ago. You always wanted to make sure that your meat is room temperature when you're cooking. So it will not cover up your meat. Here I have two large eggplant that I will be kneading. I have some edos into my bowl here. And I have coconut, which I'm going to be making some freshly squeezed coconut milk for this recipe. And I do have a video on my channel, how to make freshly squeezed coconut milk. Kindly go ahead and check that out. Into my bowl over here, what I need for my curry, I have two and a half tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of ground toasted jeera, two tablespoon toasted ground gar masala, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and three teaspoon of my green seasoning that I have in my mixture here, and that is what I'm going to be needing to cook this curry. So I have my chicken, my eggplant, my edos, my mixture there for my curry. I also have my coconut, and I will be needing a few other ingredients later into the video. I will show you that some scallion tomatoes, onions, and stuff for garnishing. I will show you that later. Into my pot over here. I have two tablespoons of olive oil that is heating up nicely there. I'm going to wait for that to fully heat it. And what we are going to do first thing, we are going to bungee our chicken and let that cook for about 15 to 20 minutes before we add our edos and eggplant. So the first thing we are going to do is to bungee our chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. My oil is pretty heated there. Let's start adding our mixture. And we're gonna let this bunge on medium heat for about three to four minutes. You don't want to rush this part of the curry because this is the most important part of the curry. It's to toast your masala into the oil. So you don't want to rush this part of the curry. So you're gonna let this fry into the oil for about three to four minutes before you add your chicken. So on medium heat, you're gonna go ahead and let that fry for about three to four minutes. I'm gonna bring my camera in so you can see what that looks like. And that is frying up nicely there into the oil. To that, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, a tablespoon of water, just to give it a little. And I'm gonna let this sit fry now for about three minutes into the oil. Before we add our chicken. Okay, let's go ahead and add our chicken and give this a nice sauce here. Make sure all of the chicken is nicely coated with your masala here. And I will be listing everything into the description screen. 
to a little exact measurement that I use for this recipe. I'm going to bring my camera in. And that is my chicken cooking up nicely there into the masala. So my chicken been fully seasoning with all of my seasoning, my salt, my chicken bouillon, all of the seasoning, it's been fully seasoning. So at this point, what you're going to do, you're going to cover your pot and you're going to let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. You're going to give it a toss every 5 minutes and you're going to let this bonje for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meanwhile, this is bonje on my stove here. I will go ahead and prepare my eggplant and my edibles. So I'm going to cover my pot and I'm going to let this bonje for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I will come back and I will show you the second part of the cooking. Okay, so my chicken been on now for about 20 minutes. Let's check on it. And this is cooking up so nicely here. so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to bring my camera in so you can see what that looks like. And that is cooking up really good right now. Okay, at this point, um, what I did, my edos, some of my edos wasn't good, so I added a few potatoes. So I'm going to add my edos and potatoes there. And let's go ahead and add our eggplant to the pot. This is two large eggplants. That I chopped up nicely here into cubes. Okay, let's give this a nice sauce here. Okay, give that a nice toss. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of garlic powder. And one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. And I am going to give this a nice toss here. Okay, you're going to lower your stove to medium heat and you're going to cover your pot and let this simmer. In the next five minutes, I will go ahead and I will add my coconut milk and I have my tomatoes and my scallion which I'm going to be adding at the end of the cooking process. So right now, you're going to go ahead and lower your stove at medium heat and in the next five minutes, I will come back and I will add my coconut milk, my freshly squeezed coconut milk. Okay, so let's check on our eggplant here. It's been five minutes since I added the eggplant to my chicken with my potatoes and my edibles here. So right now, I have some freshly squeezed coconut milk that I'm gonna go ahead and add to my eggplant. You will go ahead and taste for salt. I already went ahead and taste for salt when I added my eggplant. So, mine is pretty good with the salt. So I don't have to add any more salt to this. Okay, so what you're going to do at this point now, you're going to cover your pot. And you're going to let this simmer with the coconut milk until the eggplant 
and the potatoes are nice and tender and thicken a little then I will come back and show you okay so right now I will go ahead and I will cover my pot and let that simmer into the coconut milk and I will come back later into the video plate it and let you see what it looks like okay so let's go ahead and check on our eggplant here and look at that look at that creamy deliciousness look at this egg look at it so creamy everything melted and remember guys when this cold down it's going to thicken up a little so you don't have to worry if it have a little bit of sauce but there everything is completely cooked here so nicely melted nicely here okay so right now what I'm going to do I will go ahead and add my tomatoes and I will add a little bit of my scallion I will leave the rest for garnishing I'm going to give this another minute or so to simmer with my tomatoes and then I will go ahead, plate it and let you see what it looks like. So I will give it another minute and then I will turn my stove off and I will plate it for you. And there you have it, a nice delicious eggplant curry with chicken, some salad and some white rice there you have it you can eat this with roti or anything that you like today i'm having it with white rice salad and my eggplant curry i am going to bring it a little closer to the camera so you can see what this looks like and there you have it a delicious delicious eggplant curry with a nice salad. There you have it. A delicious eggplant curry with chicken and potatoes. If you like this video guys, kindly give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there's a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that. Uh, please remember to subscribe who have not yet subscribed and thank you so very much for supporting my channel. Today I make you eggplant curry with a salad and white rice. Thank you for watching.